Hello you guys, how are you? I hope everything is going well with you guys. Today I will be spilling the tea, telling you the truth about some of well, most of my favorite products within the last month, April, maybe March, and possibly February of this year. Products that I have started using, even some uh, last year, and I have personally liked so far. I think those ones will be all my favorites. Um, gonna let Domel do his own video about the products that he actually feels that he feels a hundred percent that he loves but this ones are my all-time favorites I feel like I have enjoyed myself so let's go ahead and start with this one if you're new to the channel please help me by subscribing to the channel click on the notification button to stay notified we upload videos on a daily basis I think Domel is here welcome Domel I have arrived so those are all my favorite products uh, you can tell me I'm not gonna. I didn't bring products that I just don't like because I thought this one. Well, this will be a good idea to show them what I feel like it. It's honestly worth. So I'm gonna start with. So all of these are your favorites. My favorites, like I I'm, mean, nothing that we have is not our favorite. Clearly, yeah. We spend the money, honey. Exactly. But thank you, Lomel. I agree with you. There are some ones that are more favorable uh, than others. Definitely, and. We're encountering some issues, like technical issues. Please bear with us. I thought I had lightened it up. But what I guess... kind of technical issues are you talking about right now? <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and start with um, the banana boat. I personally really enjoyed this one. This is a uh, sunscreen SPF 50. Even though it's made for kids, if I personally like the fact that it's water resistant and I feel like when I go outside and I start sweating, it's very nice, very, it, it protects me overall. I feel like Honestly, it, it has worked very, very nice. So when I spray it, I just spray it like that. And I spray it as soon as I finish my my skincare at night, I literally just, not at night, in the morning. I, They're gonna after you, honey. I literally just go ahead and just spray it all over and I feel like I really, really like it. I've noticed that it has like a technical issue here. I don't know if it's like a lock. What do you feel that makes a difference? Like, what is it that is a kid, you know? Because it's SPF Protection 50. Maybe. There shouldn't be a difference between, but what do you... you think it it's says here that if you spray it on the eyes, it's it tear burn. free. So it won't burn. Okay. It won't burn, and it's just sting free, so it's not... I mean, that happen. should be normal. They shouldn't have... I mean, an adult shouldn't be having take a burn in their eyes. But this is one of my all-time favorites. I really like it. How do you like it? Same. Really nice. I like... To be honest with you, sometimes you just feel tired of like putting creams on your hands and watching. And now like I see a lot of TikTok videos that you have to put like two fingers and it's like, yeah, oh yeah. no. So sometimes spraying it and going, it's it's really It's nice. a vibe. So if you guys, oh, I'm sorry. If you guys hear the timer going off, it's because probably I'm frying some chicken for the mill in the oven because he loves his chicken all the time. And so the next product I have with me, it will be the La Roche Posse. This is a 60 SPF. I personally like this one. It doesn't give me a white cast. And then on top of that, I don't feel like it's heavy. Have you tried this one? I actually have not. Yeah, it's good now, thank you. I, I personally like it. What is it? It says it's tested for sensitive skin, it's water resistance, and on top of that, it's fragrance free. Is it like, a sunblock? Sunblock SPF 60. Oh, I never tried it. Do we still have some more? We have plenty of them. Oh, God. I, like, I personally like to bring it from here to all the way in, my, in the back of my ears. You know, it looks like um, like an anti-aging serious product. That's why I never touched it. Oh my gosh. So the next product that I personally, I last, this year, I actually started taking care of my lips, right? Mm -hmm. You and used I, to hate lip balms. I hate them. And I feel like I f I'm guilty now because I have accumulated so many lip balms that I'm just like, I should be getting rid of all of this. So the first one that I actually started getting my hands onto this one, I have two Caudalie. I got this one at Planet Beauty, and the reason being is because the lady who helps us at Planet Beauty is super amazing. She only works in the weekends. She is located in the urban spectrum in California, and she does an amazing and beautiful job. Mm -hmm. Like every time we want to purchase items, we go to that one. We recently found that Chino Hills in California has also another Planet Beauty, and They're they really have nice a too. that's really nice. However, I got this one as a, just like a regular gift and she I, she gave it to us. Yeah. And it's really nice, I it like it. Really, I didn't even know they sold um, lip balms. I, know. I thought they were just strictly skincare, but I mean, I'm happy with the ones that we have. They're so good. I know. So the next product, I actually haven't indulged as much because 
I don't feel like I need it as much, but this one is a really nice exfoliating uh, powder. It does remind me a lot of to the Tatcha one. I feel like I just used a tiny bit portion of, of my cleanser, and, and I just, if I just wanna go ahead and exfoliate, exfoliate gently, I personally like it. Um, I feel like it's lasted about almost, it's only been almost a year in your limit. Um, and I still have like halfway through it. I don't think you guys can see it, but yeah, you can add it into um, any cleanser. You can do it just with water. It will not sud, so it won't strip your skin if you're going in and um, you know exfoliating. So let's say for example, if you wanted to do a cleanse and then an exfoliation, mm -hmm. sometimes people get feel overly clean. They feel stripped. Christina Aguilera, did you subscribe to the channel? Um, this but is, this will not do that to you. It says that it's really great for somebody with sensitive skin, so I personally like it a lot. Next product I really like is the Glam Glow Youth Potion. I feel like I like this formula a lot. It has that um, like purpley pomegranate kind of mm -hmm. color. It smells really nice. I personally, I, I just don't mind about Scents, unless it's like a super strong or a very like old fashioned kind of a yeah, unless fragrance. it's like very floral, powdery kind of scent, that's too much. It's a cool peptide serum, so if you want to add uh, all your like peptides into your skincare routine, this is a really good one. How do you like it? You know, I haven't tried it much. I know you love Glam Glow, I do, and there are some products that I want you to enjoy, so I've honestly tried that like maybe like twice, really. I mean, I haven't had any negative experiences, mm -hmm. but I haven't seen any difference on my skin either. Got it. So the next product I have with me will be the OGX. This is a Coconut Miracle Oil uh, Lotion. So this is the lotion. It is not the cream. So if you like Bumbo Cream, this will be a really nice dupe. It smells identical to it. It doesn't last as much, and it's not as creamy because... It's just a very lightweight lotion. I don't think that you would, if you're looking for a very creamy, hydrating, moisturizing, it's not gonna be like that. But if you jump outside of the shower, you definitely are gonna like this product. It's really nice. It smells really amazing. I personally like it a lot. It's just a bum bum on a budget. On a budget. <laughs> Next product that I have fallen in love with in the last year, I actually was subscribed to a Facebook group uh, about beauty and beauty products in general. And they said, what is a really nice, um, a scrub or a shower gel that you guys personally like and I noticed that a lot of people recommended this product so I started using this one the reason why I like this one is it smells really really nice mm -hmm. it smells so good and it also has that exfoliant scrubby uh, beads that you like and it's not that harsh into your skin but the downfall for me for this one is that the, the scent or the smell doesn't last that much. So you personally like it while you're showering yourself and lathering yourself with the product, but it is not gonna, if you walk outside of the shower, you definitely are not gonna enjoy that because it's gonna be a runaway. Which if you were to like, let's say for example, use um, the, what is it? So, is it Sol de Janeiro? Sol de Janeiro. If you were to use mm -hmm. that one, the Boom Boom Cream um, body wash, or it's, is it the call the Boom Boom Cream body wash? Yes. Um, that one you will have a fragrance that's long lasting. lasting. So he's gonna pull up the chicken. So if you don't mind me, you know, he's just getting the dinner ready. So th that's when I personally like it. I love the scent. I love the consistency. It is not that hard onto your uh, skin overall. And I feel personally that I really, really like the product uh, uh, 100%. Now, if it was my opportunity, I would definitely make that scent last after washing myself. Now I'm gonna jump onto the next a couple of products for skincare. Uh, we're gonna talk first for hand skin. So this is a really good essence for the skin. If you're looking for a really good hydration and a budget, I feel like this one will be a really nice dupe for the SK2. Glow, uh, SK2 and also the Glow Recipe that is now like going like the watermelon I the toner. I feel Everybody's like in the watermelon sugar. Thing. Yeah, and then and this one works perfectly for my skin. How do you like it? I think this is a really good one, especially for like morning or evening to build. But like I use it as a toner for the morning because, you know, I just woke up, I cleanse my skin. I don't want anything that's too stripping. Personally, I really do enjoy it. Next products I have is this uh, Paul Mitchell Neon. This is our the sugar rinse and sugar cleanse. So we have the shampoo and the conditioner. I think they are just basic uh, shampoo Cleanser, and cleansers yeah. for somebody. When I mean basic, I don't mean anything mean, or I mean something like, so somebody who's trying to, or jumping into from like regular purple spantine onto trying to something more higher end. I felt like this one's worked really well. Mm -hmm. It didn't give me any dandruff. I still have plenty Same. of product. 
We still have plenty of product in here. They smell great. Do they? Yeah, they smell know. delicious. I don't remember that. It smell really good. It's a very soft but very sweet scent. And yeah. I love the fact that these guys, um, they're not heavy. They won't clog your, your follicles uh, or the pores. And it doesn't like, make you feel like mm -hmm. any dandruff at all. It, it, or dry. I personally would have wished that the conditioner would have been a little bit more moisturizing. Because I know the shampoo is more formulated for like deep cleansing. Yeah. I feel like I, like you, I haven't had any issues, but if I had to tweak it, I would just say a little bit more moisture in the conditioner. Definitely. So the next product I have with me, it's almost new, but I really, really like the, the, the one or two times that I tried brands, it. Yeah. This, uh, this brand is um, Maria Nella. You can find this one at a professional... Location, maybe salon, like a salon. Maybe like a professional salon. Um, this is such a good product. Overall, I'm just going to jump onto the products that I actually fall in love with. Uh, so this came in a bundle that we purchased. What, what else came inside of this one? Like, the two like... larger ones. Oh, there's two larger ones? Yeah. Mm, okay, right I didn't here. know that. They're right here in the end. So there's, um, they have a whole variety. They have like for silver hair, they have for curly, they have for dry, they have for healing. They have a, like a whole different, like, I didn't know they came with a full size line. Yeah. If they were just like Loki, I would have wished it would come with maybe like a styling cream or something, but just those four. Really? Yeah. Or a serum. So I just didn't know we didn't even have this. Um, but I personally really, really have enjoyed these products a lot. Same. It feel uh, the scent that smells really delicious. Every time we've tried this brand, it's always delivered really well. Yeah. The scent is nice. Mm -hmm. you know, very delicious. Too. It's very delicious, very peachy florally uh -huh, in the very way. Very creamy and fresh. And it doesn't give me any dandruff. I feel mm -hmm. like overall this brand is a really, really good winner uh, when it comes to like, you know, bumping up. It says here it's 100% vegan, cruelty free. It also has dry scalp relief. This formula specifically is to heal the hair, which I'm going to let eventually Domel talk about it in a more specific video about hair products. But I feel like this is a sulfate-free, paraben-free, color guard complex. So that means that it's gonna it's gonna be safe for somebody who has like red color or anything else like that. Mm -hmm. Not like it's gonna preserve it or it's gonna stop your it red color it coming. Strip the but color. it's not gonna exactly. Unlike, for example, the sugar cleanse that will strip because that's meant to do deep cleansings yeah. and things like so. That doesn't mean it's a bad product. You actually do need something that's gonna you know really cleanse out your scalp, your hair, your pores, etc. Yeah. Um, but the heel from this beautiful Marie line, Anima. um, this will not do that. It won't strip your hair color. It will cleanse, but it will not strip. It is also made in, uh, Sweden. So that's really nice. Something completely different that I've never tried. And we're going to jump onto this eye cream. This is a really nice hydrating eye cream. How do you feel about that? You actually said that you like this eye cream. I do. I like it. Am I in love with it? No. But for the I price, really the like size, it. I feel I like would... I, I absolutely do love it. I feel like to me, uh, you know, we're gonna let Domel do his own also. We, we want him to do his own version of his favorite products that we have been using. But personally, I, you know, I feel like I agree with him this in the same way. I feel like this product, it's such a nice nurturing, hydrating eye cream. It's really good for hydration. Um, I don't think it's expensive. It doesn't go above the $19 in, at Ulta. Uh, you can buy it at Fort Ray Beauty, Ulta Beauty, or you can just walk into the Ulta store and I'm pretty sure they're going to have this available. That's where I purchased mine. And it's such a very good hydrating cream consistency that I personally have fallen in love with. It's not anti-aging, so definitely don't expect it to be like for men lifting, you know, anything like that, or even just work with the, uh, uh, how do you call that? Like, you know, crossfade or any darkness around your eye. It's not going to help with that. However, it does has really good ingredients for hydration so you don't feel like it's like super dry or just, just, you know overall i think you need hydration so it's a really nice eye cream for hydration i myself stopped doing eye cream for almost a year and i will be working in a video of what i have seen within the difference of using and not using an eye cream personally i think it's a really good eye cream for somebody who's just looking to start with a ni nice hydrating eye cream the next product i have with me it is the tlc sukari baby facial this is by John Kelfan. It is kind of pricey. It's almost $80. This product lasts a really, really long time. I, I don't know if it's because it's uh, heavy 
or what it is about this. I think it's actually almost wool. We purchased this in October or November, and then we started trying it. I haven't done a full review on this one, just because I feel like I don't like to jump in and just do a review on a product that I've only tried once or twice. I have tried this for several times, and I can tell you right now, even though it is not made for, you know, this video is not made to, to disclose the full details about how I feel about the Sukari Baby Facial Oil Treatment, this is a really good treatment. I have noticed the very first time I actually used it on my skin, the second day when I, you know, after a wash, put my whole skincare routine. The next day in the morning, I will again do my whole skincare routine again. And at night, I was just like grabbing my face for some reason, like over here and over here. And I noticed that there were some white hits coming off of my skin. So I was very impressed by it. Now, it, and the tingling sensation that I felt within the first couple of minutes that when I'm using this product, it's definitely not going away. I don't feel like uh, the strength of this product is it is slowly reducing now I still feel like every single time that I use a product it feels the same way and I've noticed a huge difference for my skin especially when I'm trying to do a spa version or something like a very detailed or I haven't washed my face in the morning or I forgot to do my nighttime routine or something like that I personally like to do this one at night because that's when my skin recovers the most when I'm sleeping and I feel like this one is such a good treatment to add onto your skincare routine. Now be, be aware, you know, if you're sensitive or anything else like that, be aware of written instructions or even ask for a sample. Maybe they'll have it ready. I purchased this at Sephora and I personally like it a lot. Last but not least, I have... Is it last but not least? I think it is last but not least. How do you feel about the baby facial email? You never said that. You know... You know. I've only used it like I think twice. You haven't seen any difference, right? No, and I I kind of expected more because I heard everybody say, "Oh my god, oh my yeah, god, oh my myself. god!" And then when you tried it on, you were like, "Oh my god, my face!" I felt like so it's good. burning, and um, you know, I you were feeling like it was working, and I was like, "Keep keep in mind, you were using um, uh, vitamin A." Uh, which obviously, you know, is right. retinol, which sensitizes your skin. Boom, boom, boom. I was not. So your experience was different than mine. And then you're more I, on the other side. I do like dying. it. I do like it. But I just have yet not seen results where I'm like, I need more. You and know? I think we have the Ole, Ole Henriksen treatment too. So I'm excited for you to try that one. Maybe you'll see something different or maybe we'll even just jump into the camera and see what half on half. How do we feel about it? Who knows? Last but not least, I, I, have you tried this one so far or no? This is the last product from my list. I have not tried it yet, but the color is so beautiful. It is a very beautiful ombre. It reminds me of a Chacha Macha Chacha drink. Macha, which is like a matcha drink store in Los Angeles. They have like a two, now we, they have two different stores and they are going for the third one. If I'm... Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were, they, were, they were rumoring around, but they have one in West Hollywood or WeHo. Or they also have one in summertime. What's the name of that? Um, Venice. I barely go to Venice. Santa Monica. Venice. Yeah, Santa, Santa, Monica, Santa Monica, Monica, Venice Beach moment. Yeah. This is such a really nurturing, hydrating uh, product. It is a serum that you apply after obviously you cleanse your face. And I feel like this one is a really has a really nice texture. And I don't feel anything sticky. I did notice that my skin wasn't uh, dry throughout the day when I applied it the first time. So I, the second time I felt the same way. It looks yeah. creamy. Like, a, you know, most serums usually are very, very um, watery, uh, but this one looks very like, almost like a, a cream. It does have a weird scent. I don't know if you want to smell it, right but it does have a very weird scent to it. It just, it, you know it what? It's like a hospital. Doesn't it smell like a hospital? It smells weird. It smells like something sanitized. It smells weird, unique. Oh, when okay. I think about skincare, I've always thought about, you know, skincare is medicine for your for your skin, obviously, because I feel like when you're trying to apply face creams that have fragrance, you know that fragrance is not really good for your skin. It's obviously going to dehydrate or dry your skin, and it's just overall is not a good feeling. However, when I think about medicine for my skin, like if I talk about natural medicine, I can think about tea or, you know, making any type of like supplements or any type of fruits, like I'm going more for natural. However, when I think about medicine, I, f I think about like maybe I'm having a headache and I'm, I have to take Tylenol. In my skincare routine, when it comes to texture, I'm always aware that texture is something that my skin is always going to have and it's natural to have it. Having a very... How can I even ex explain this? I don't, 
I don't want to say anything that in the future potentially could just get back to me. I feel like having texture in your skin is just normal. Having normal expectations about your, about your face, about your skin, it's completely normal. You're not going to look like someone who just came out, out of the Cosmopolitan magazine, Photoshop. Like if I would Some tell you- Some of the times they don't even look like that themselves. Yeah. Like there's so many videos about how people and editors work on the beauty industry in order to make a model look more beautiful than she is already or more beautiful than she has already, you know, looked everywhere. Or what, or what would they consider that society standard. wants to dream? Because remember, a lot of the times, this is a, this is a fantasy. This is marketing. You know, yeah. they want to sell you things that are gonna provide you that fantasy of like you always want to meet that goal, whether unfortunately it's unrealistic or not. It know? is very unrealistic. So if you're trying any type of a skincare routine or if you're trying any product, have normal expectations. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. It does help us a lot to grow and also understand where we're going with this YouTube channel. It also helps us to understand where are we coming from, what do we need to make different, and also analyze everything. Now, going back to having unrealistic expectations, it is, it has come to my attention that, you know, a lot of the times we, we focus more on what's popular, and I feel like, you know, I, we had a really nice friend uh, that she focused a lot of the times in like Kim Kardashian or having realistic expectations about money, lifestyle, or like uh, Charlie D'Amelio, I think she said, or the other girl at uh, TikTok. Like she would, you know, when we saw her, it was so realistic for me to, you know, how she saw everything. And we, we brought her into very, we brought her into our very special places that we have been. So if you ask me, what are those places? Like Duamel and I, we enjoy going to the mountains, we're going for a high, we like to go for a drink, we like to go to the beach, possibly go to any normal mall. Like, and when I say normal, I mean like, it could be like the one in my, the corner of my street, or it could be like the Beverly Hills one, or the one in Millennium Mall, I think you said, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It Just could be depends. anyone in Chicago that we've been before. I feel like having normal or realistic expectations should have helped you to set up uh, ground where you're standing. And a lot of the times we get like this type of like unrealistic reality about that we're gonna have this gorgeous face. Like I know for a fact that I'm gonna have fine lines and wrinkles because that is completely normal unless like I inject myself with Botox and I have a lot of treatments and maybe I could potentially go to, you know, get a lot of um, facials and maybe like, the microdermabrations and anything else like that. But having realistic expectations helps you also to know where you are, not where you're standing, and also helps your natural confidence. And when you don't have them, you feel like you expect, and I bring my friend um, that we had because she has such an unrealistic expectations. And when we told her how we felt, or at least, you know, I feel like we're always very respectful about every single thing that we do. I feel like she just didn't like the concept. I feel like she just didn't understand it. And she said that, uh, you know, she just, it just didn't match. She said that potentially, you know, she understood at the moment, but she still continued like, to have those unrealistic expectations. And it's really sad to see all these people like Nikita Dragon or uh, Patrick Starr going up there and having like, and, ex and you know, showing up like they are in like the next fashion or acting like that. Because I, I like myself before I judge somebody or before I before I even say anything about any anybody, I feel like just to have a clear example, for the longest time I've always heard Beyonce music. When I was younger, I always knew about Destiny's Child, but I never really paid a full my whole full attention to a full album by Destiny's Child. And when I and I I've always been this type of person that before I say I don't like this, I need to know why I don't like it and what's something that you know it's taking me back because I grew up with Britney and Christina and I grew up with Madonna and I went grew up with Eve and grew up with Gwen Stefani. So those are different type of um, styles of music. And I felt like when you talk about, you know, maybe I don't like Beyonce, I just didn't give myself the opportunity to get to know that type of music. And so when I started listening to her music, I felt like 
I fell in love with the concept, with her hard work and everything else that involved how successful she was and how how hard she worked and how she had to endure so many of the issues by being just black, by being a woman, by being a female uh, entrepreneur, by being solo, by being just overall like a really strong woman and having that type of representation. So. I've always been that type of person that always has to say, you know, why am I not liking this? Why am I liking it? With that being said, you guys, I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, click the notification button, stay notified, and I'll see you guys soon. By the way, before I say, before I leave, I do like Beyonce now.